Hello from Chicago, Alan Nuckman here above the trading floor at the CME Group, talking energy with the focus on crude oil. Another quiet day, another quiet week. Crude oil did bounce some here today off of the support we'll talk about in just a second. 48.50 was a close, that was up about $1.40, a 3% bump. Now, this market's been trading essentially sideways. Uh, we went 10 sessions trading between 50 and uh, 48.50, broke down below that support here this week, but then came back above it once again. So the September contract is now coming to an end. Uh, the last trading day is Monday, so we're going to focus on October. Today's action had about 200,000 contracts trade in September as it comes, comes to a finish, uh, with the new front month, Oct October, now trading about 600,000 contracts. Like I said, sideways. Now, the, the, the action this week was between 49 and 46.50, so going nowhere fast. Uh, negative action on the week, down about 40 cents, so not much. That's two consecutive weeks of a downward move in crude. But again, last week was only 75 cents, today less than 50 cents, so this is not significant. Uh, we're not getting any movement one way or another. It seems to be just a lack of fundamentals. We know the battle between uh, the, uh, the U.S. Uh, production increases and, uh, and, and the OPEC trying to dry up supply, but you know, we're not seeing much price reaction. What, we're also, what we do see today is the rig count comes out every Friday, and I usually report up, up, and away. Now, today we had a negative three number. Yes, negative rig count. So that's interesting in itself. So the rig count rise, is it's gotten us back up to about 946 here in the U.S., compared to 455 at this time last year. So it's been slow and steady, but... Uh, there hasn't been that much of an increase in production as of late, and it hasn't had that major impact on the market. What it's really telling me is that drillers are cautious, remain cautious, um, and, and not bringing a whole lot online uh, to increase production. So that could be interpreted as, as bullish. So other things to look at, um, we want to talk about another slow week, and, and really, we're not seeing any market movement to give us any guidance, the same old, same old, out of the fundamentals. So it really comes back to the technical patterns. We've been trading here between 47 and, you know, we've been trading here with this 47 pivot, the key to focus on. We talked about that for weeks and weeks and weeks, and it finally got above that and shot to 50. So 47 is important because it's the halfway mark of the 52 to 42 drop that we saw back in May. That was resistance forever. Now it's support on a weekly basis down below, and it looks like it's held one more time. And then above that, we're looking at 50. So a breakout in either direction is going to determine the next measured move target. A breakout to the upside targets a $3 move, $3 from that 47 to 50 range up to 53. A breakdown below 47 targets a $3 move down to 44. So it is what it is right now until we get some more uh, information to drive the markets one way or another. We're just going to follow along technically. And P.S. by the way, the stock market that got spooked yesterday is steady today. Alan Nuckman here in Chicago.